Sometimes life can feel like we're rushing from one thing to another. How can we have a calmer, happier, slower life? Welcome to Mindfulness for Beginners. Hello my friend, I hope you're happy, I hope you're peaceful. It's your old pal Sean and if you're enjoying the podcast then I would invite you to become a supporter of the show on Patreon. The link is in the description. There's lots of exclusive content there, including a new set of essential guided meditations and some new personal reflections on the future of the podcast for me. Christian and Kristen became supporters recently. Now they're getting their names read out by me in the podcast. Happiness and peace to you both. I also have some news on a free introduction to mindfulness session I'm running next month, so please stick around to the end of the episode to find out more. I grew up on a farm in Ireland and life out in the countryside is pretty slow. Not a great deal happens. If Dermot's heifer breaks out of the field, then it's the talk of the town. When I was young, I wanted to live in the city like my friends did. That's where the action was. For a very bored teenager who was more into gaming than farming, living in the middle of nowhere and hosing sheep droppings out of pens didn't really seem like the life for me. Of course, growing up, I decided not to go into agriculture to my parents' complete lack of surprise and got a job in a nearby town, then went to university in a bigger city and then moved to London to start my career. I must have been happy, right? Well, for those of you who've been on a similar journey, you won't be surprised to hear that I very quickly missed the countryside. I didn't like rushing around in London and I've been spending the rest of my life figuring out how to get back to a slower life, like I had when I was younger. I was in such a rush to leave that I didn't make the effort to enjoy the slow life. We all make the mistake of rushing through sometimes. When the Leaning Tower of Pisa was being built in the 12th century, the builders realised the soil on one side couldn't support the weight, but rather than stopping, breathing and slowing things down, They quickly finished it anyway, ending up with one of the world's weirdest tourist attractions up there with Australia's giant potato, Croatia's museum of broken relationships and the world's largest chest of drawers in North Carolina. These are real attractions by the way and I would encourage you to google them. We can end up with a life of rushing around without really intending to. We take on more and more commitments like having children, being in a relationship, having a busy job. These things can be a source of real joy, but if we have trouble setting boundaries, saying no, or are too ambitious with what we take on, we can end up with a life that's running from one thing to another. We can even become addicted to the adrenaline rush of getting things done, and our life becomes a way of doing rather than a way of being. Our Western culture emphasizes the need to grind to get things done. Accomplishment is a virtue. We're encouraged to fill our life up with activity, to cram as much as we possibly can in there. We dedicate ourselves to future goals and forget that the only time that we could be happy is now. So we need to recognise the pace that we're living at, see the habits that we've built over time, and also notice where we're getting that accomplishment high from rushing through tasks. I used to have a job that was completely overwhelming. I worked 11 hours a day, And I came out of work completely buzzing from what I had accomplished. And I had a strong sense of purpose, but I was also exhausted and unhappy. We need to take a step back from what we're doing and see how we're being. Ultimately, we need to have a different relationship with time and how we perceive time. We can feel anxious because it feels like there's never enough time, never enough hours to do all the things that you want to do. You may even feel that your life is like grains of sand in an hourglass, quickly slipping away as we try and squeeze more and more in. The reason I hear more than any other for people not wanting to meditate is they say, I just don't have time. And the truth is, for most people, there is an abundance of time. The days slip past so quickly because we try and squeeze so much in and live without awareness. We have a choice in every moment how we want to live our lives and reach branches all the time where we can choose to cram more in or we can let go and create space. 
Notice those choices and take the path of creating space. Trust me, there's no judgment here. I also have the habit of taking on too much. But that's okay, we can realize that and remember to stop when we get to the next fork in the road rather than being an autopilot. And we also have the ability to slow down our perception of time simply by noticing its passing. And we do this when we focus on our breath. I'm sure you've had the experience of trying to settle into a guided meditation when your brain is going at 100 miles an hour and it's difficult to stop. Our 100 mile an hour mind gets frustrated because it's so used to rushing that it resists. And that's fine, let it resist. Let your monkey mind bounce all over the place looking for a branch. Let it find a branch. But when it does grab onto a thought, bring your focus back to the breath. By practicing slowing down every day, by giving your mind the chance to settle and get out of the doing autopilot, you can start to live what one of my favorite bands, the Super Furry Animals, calls the slow life. So let's slow down right now with a guided meditation. I'm going to start with three sounds of the bell and the usual settling in introduction. And as we listen to the rain fall outside, we're going to begin, as we always do, by applying our beginner's mind to our posture. So I would invite you to imagine that you have a thread attached to the crown of your head. And it's gently pulling you upwards into an upright position. Your spine like a stack of coins. Your heart raised upwards and outwards. Your hands comfortably in your lap. And as we settle in, just taking a moment to enjoy the stability of our posture by allowing a gentle smile to emerge in our face. And expanding that spotlight of awareness to your entire body, noticing where you feel warm or cold, noticing where you feel tense or relaxed, becoming aware of the sensation of the clothes against your skin, and the points of contact between your body and the chair and the floor. Shifting that spotlight of awareness to your thoughts and feelings. And as we go through the guided meditation, just noticing each thought that arises, and that might be an anxious thought about tomorrow, 
It could be a happy thought about today. Or a sad thought about yesterday. Just sitting with each thought for a moment. Allowing it to leave. And gently and without judgment. Bringing your attention back to your breath. And finally, focusing your awareness on the breath, noticing that column of air between your nose and your diaphragm. Noticing how the air feels cooler on the way in. Warmer on the way out. Breathing in. I know I am breathing in, breathing out, I know I am breathing out, in, out. Breathing in, my breath grows deep. Breathing out, my breath goes slow. Deep, slow.
Breathing in, I am aware of my mind. Breathing out, I calm my mind. Aware of mind, calming. Breathing in, I am aware of thoughts entering my mind. Breathing out, I smile to thoughts entering my mind, even difficult thoughts. Aware of thoughts, smiling.
breathing in. I am aware of the slowness of my breath. Breathing out, I enjoy the slowness of my breath. Slowness of breath, enjoying. Breathing in, I am aware of my mind's to-do list. Breathing out, I let go. Aware of mind, letting go.
breathing in. I see myself as empty space. Breathing out. I feel free. Space. Free. As we reach the end of the guided meditation, just taking a moment or two to notice any changes in your body, any areas of relaxation, any areas of discomfort, and just taking a moment to stretch those if you need to. Noticing any changes in your mind, and if you feel a sense of calm or peace, then I would invite you to carry that through the rest of your day. And finally, opening your eyes and returning your awareness to the room that you're in. And just before we finish, uh, I mentioned at the top of the show that I was setting up an introduction to mindfulness session. The Eventbrite link is in the description. Uh, it'll cover the basics of what mindfulness is, what the benefits are, how to meditate and how you can apply it to your life. Uh, the session is free. Uh, the purpose of this is to share the basics and get more people interested in mindfulness who aren't listening to the podcast right now. So if you could share the link with any networks that you're aware of or any people that you think might be interested in getting into mindfulness uh, and recommend it along with the podcast, I'd be hugely grateful. And may you be happy, may you be peaceful, and may you see yourself through the eyes of understanding and compassion. Slana will you? And I'll see you next time.